Well, what about the old beaver? Turning back the clock with a vintage display? I think I enjoyed that game. Although I didn't have the legs to go all the way and uh, lucky the snakey was there to finish it off. And if not mistaken, I believe that was your last official men of the match. It was. Uh, I've still got the check. It's stuck to the fridge and I might keep it there for the, uh, for the grandkids. Oh, why not? Our next opponents were the Sharkies and we were pretty fired up for this one after they outmuscled us in the opening round. Fortunately, we started this game like we ended the one against the Gold Coast. He looked to spit it back, thought against it on the final tackle. Ballon. Ballon too easy! Manly score on the four minute mark. I know they're intense, the Manly Seagulls at the moment, but I like the way the composure of the Sharks are also, also displaying. Spiral bomb from Jamie Lyon, allowed to bounce! And into the hands of Talia Papa. Oh, Talia Papa pops it out the back, right into the arms of Steve Maddai. And the Sharks are on their heels. A brain snap and a try, perhaps. It is. And it's big Josh Perry. Tackle number two, 20 metres out to Orford. Dummies, second ball to Lyon. Now to Glenn Stewart, back to Jamie Lyon. On to Stephen Bell. It's on again. And again, it's Brett Stewart. Three tries in 18 minutes. It is all the Eagles. And you love it when a plan comes off. The right-hand side, Glenn Stewart and Matty Orford have been using the old runaway runaround player a lot, quite extensively this season. And you see it again here. Jason King playing the ball back to Ballon, who crabs a crossfield to link with Glenn Stewart, who goes straight through the middle. That is try number four. That's good footwork from Glenn Stewart. Good work from Manly also. They've been turning a lot of balls under, trying to get the fatigued Sharks forwards. Not coming up square, not coming up straight, not shutting the gate. The Rabbits and the Eels immediately following this clash at Toyota. Matt I on the foot and try. Missy tell your Papa was simply beaten for Ross. pace. De Goyes and Ross combining on the 13 metre mark to bring down big Mark Bryant. Plenty of kilos there as Kamali goes off his right hip to line to Stewart. Glenn Stewart looking for his second of the night and he finds it. What a performance from the Sea Eagles this has been. And with 20 minutes remaining, it's not over. It's uh, pretty daunting coming uh, out of the shy for a game. You know, the crowd always gets behind their team and, you know, uh, we come out and sort of complete a lot of sets early and, um, you know, disappointing finish for us. A lot of drop ball, but I think uh, we got the job done early. After six weeks on the road, we finally returned to Fortress Brookvale for the duel with Para in round 19. I must admit, I was starting to get a bit homesick there at one stage, but for our diehard fans, it was worth the wait because Brett Stewart produced one of the most freakish passes I've ever seen. And you were also captain that.